welcome. It's Russ Curtis, professor of counseling. I want to talk about a cool study, and I'm going to be talking more a little bit about the potential risk of AI, and, and there's many. So it's going to benefit us in a lot of ways, but there's going to be risk. Um, this one goes both ways. Hang with me till the end, and I'll talk about this in terms of mental health and what mental health professionals, counselors, social workers, psychologists, psychiatrists, how this might be helpful. Okay, can AI read your mind? I will put some links down in the bottom to, sh to you can look further into this. If you follow my channel, you know I'm not going to get into the weeds of the details of all this, but give you the overall general message. All right, so in this particular study, and there's actually been several studies, AI is set up to where it is uh, looking uh, at the image that you're looking at. And in this case, it's the dog. Okay, so they've got a person. The person's looking at the image of a dog. It's probably a picture, not an actual dog. Okay, so I've got a picture of a dog. AI is simultaneously uh, viewing your brainwave activity while you're looking at the image of the dog. Okay, so we got two things going on. AI is, is looking at the dog itself, and it's also looking at your brainwave activity while you're looking at the dog. So then we take away the picture of the dog, okay? And then AI is asked to just read brainwave activity and then interpret what the image would be, okay? And it very accurately in these studies uh, recreates uh, uh, almost identical to what the initial image was, which is the dog in this case, okay? So ultimately, by just reading brainwaves, once there's the database of, hey, this is what the brainwave activity looks like, when somebody's looking at a tree or a flower or a giraffe, I know that's one study that's been done, it can then just look at brainwave activity and recreate the image. So related to mental health, uh, in this last article I read, they were talking about how might this be an advantage for people who are experiencing hallucinations or perceptual disturbance that nobody else can see. Might be something common that you would hear about from folks with schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder to be able to take their brainwave activity and then recreate the images that they're seeing. And what might that mean for mental health treatment, if anything at all? Of course, there's also this danger that are your thoughts safe anymore? Can, you know, can your, could you be walking down the street and there be some type of AI that can read what's going on in your mind and recreate images of what's going on? So there's, there's a lot of stuff we need to talk about in terms of risk. I'll put things in the comment box, but please let me know your, your thoughts about this, and we will talk to you on the next video. Take good care. Thanks.